Hey, well, don't, don't look at me like that. Listen, I'm trying to have fun. Into the world's coming, don't you know? September 23rd. Everybody's heard about it. It's the big thing. It's the hip thing. Everybody's everybody's trying to get on the, the bandwagon. The other day we had a guest uh, interview. You guys liked having that guy on. He was, he was kind of out there. He said some things that were borderline uh, insane. And I just don't know if I could really trust a guy that's talked like that. No offense, my friend. I really had a great conversation with you but it's just that some of the things that you said but then do you guys remember I have made a couple videos about September 23rd there are videos all over the internet talking about the coincidences that are happening but there was a specific video I made about September 23rd where you, you know what I think it's best that I show you so over in content uncharted I did the what is happening September 23rd video Let's let's get right into what is going to happen on September 23rd, 2017. On this date, the sun will be in the constellation Virgo, the Virgin, along with the moon near Virgo's feet. Also still true, the constellation is in alignment. If you don't believe me, you can go to the app store, download an application that allows you to look at the alignment of the constellations and you will see, oh, this is more than true. I don't know if anyone else has discovered this. I, it's just a bunch of random stuff. I started Googling. No, this was the rabbit hole. Me, but no, there's no, there's nothing on this stuff. So around 10,000 to 7,000 years ago, humankind experienced perhaps its most important revolution, the Neolithic revolution as it. Also still true, this did happen. I went on to Google what happened seven to 10,000 years ago and what came up, but what else resulted by an influx of intense cosmic rays? A new analysis of ancient trees in California have revealed evidence of abnormal solar activity in the year 5040 AD BC with high amounts of carbon-14 discovered in the tree rings. Okay, now this was crazy. So, these, this alignment, which prompted me to Google search many different things, this alignment caused Jupiter to overextend, messing with the sun's solar rays. The sun has produced six sizable flares in the same region since Monday. The two most recent were captured Thursday morning by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Both flares were massive, but the second is the largest on record since 2006, measuring a whopping X9.3. Seven to 10,000 years ago when the stars were aligned just like this, the, co the sun's cosmic rays were crazy. It was recorded and found in prehistoric trees. Sadly to say, and surprisingly enough, NASA has recorded on September the 4th to the September 11th of this year, massive solar flares are stirring up. Because as we've said before, the alignment of Jupiter overextending does mess with the magnetism of the sun. Well, the sun has unleashed its largest flare in over a decade and its effects are now being felt here on Earth. So far, the event has triggered radio blackouts and this weekend, people living in high latitude regions might actually see beautiful auroras in the sky. So you remember in the video when I said that for every 11 years, there's the cycle that the sun goes through because Jupiter it goes in and out and in and out but this alignment never happened but seven to ten thousand years ago now all these solar flares are happening this is what they're saying current in San Diego California and what they did was they looked at historical patterns of the, this type of activity on the sun. Now, every 11 years, the sun goes through cycles of increasing and decreasing activity. Whenever it's in a period of increasing activity, it can happen where solar eruptions uh, happen on the sun and they send particles spewing into space and sometimes toward Earth. Now that is very riveting, very, very scary for me to hear. But what does this mean? What could happen? In the world, such an event could be catastrophic. It could cause major blackouts and disrupt daily life for some say up to 10 years. That's that's scary. So this this magnetism could disrupt all technology. So the, the threat is still there. Just the threat is bad news for airlines, power utilities, GPS providers, all who spent the day on the lookout for any dis So Now listen, I'm not one to dwell over the end of the world okay 
And honestly, I think that the rep squad is impervious to the end of the world. If if you just if I mean if you just had to ask me. But in all seriousness, these things are happening. Um, I I kind of hope like everybody else hopes for. We don't know when the end of the world is going to come. September, September the planets are aligned. Solar flares are stirring up. Things are getting crazy. I, I'm not one to believe in Armageddon or things of such nature. But I will admit that my eyes have been focused on the sky. And man, some weird things have been happening. I know if, if you guys have noticed any weird things in the sky, you can go ahead and post in the comment section below and let, let us know. Because if anything, we need to watch. We need to find this stuff before it happens so we can be prepared and plan something together. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not on this kind of train. I'm not riding this and saying that this is going to happen. In fact, September 23rd is probably going to come and probably nothing's going to happen. So don't be scared. But there is always that chance. There is always that chance. The coolest part, Robin, is the fact that we can show you pictures right now. We learn more about the sun every day. And what we do know is that it regularly sends out these bursts of energy, these particles that you'll hear about toward the Earth at about 4 million miles an hour. Now, these pictures are from an eruption that happened on Tuesday, and all of that energy is expected to graze the planet. I don't like the sound of that at all. Freaks me out. Uh, if you ain't keeping up, uh, this does mess with the atmosphere. Uh, these things can hurt us. It's the solar flares and, and uh, it's, it's just not anything that we want to play around with. Flares release large amounts of energy into space, which send clouds of electrons, atoms, and ions toward Earth, 11-year cycle, which makes these events all the more puzzling to scientists. In recent weeks, we have seen the devastating effects of extreme weather on Earth, and these abnormal solar flares reveal that extreme weather is also happening in space. It just, it, it, it if anything, the fact that I, I, I made this video uh, on August 22nd when I started going down the rabbit hole on this. The cause of this event remains a mystery, but researchers say it may have been the result of the change in the sun's magnetic activity. When, when, because it's been on this 11 year cycle, the planets are alignment, and if you're not into biblical prophecies, you do need to keep in mind that these things are happening currently. The Venus, 11 year cycle goes in and out goes in and out and when it does go to a certain point it does mess with the magnetism of the sun and we are in the uh, that's that specific alignment right now and this th we're for it to overextend like it is it hasn't done it in, in since 7,000 to 10,000 years ago and that's the last time that these uh, according to these ancient trees where it was recorded that this solar massive solar interference does happen and it, it's looking like uh the sun's magnetism is being affected even currently maybe even affecting the weather and why these hurricanes are happening so so and i i don't want to scare you i'm not trying to scare you temperature carbon dioxide methane and ha, 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 that word if you guys are interested in watching that video that i put out on august 22nd just go ahead and check it it's the set what, what's going to happen on september 23rd we don't know fully what's going to happen and i'm going to close th this video out with saying that no one knows when the end of the world is no one can predict the end of the world but <laughs> if it's going to come if there's a possibility even a small chance i think that we should we would like to know um so we can prepare at, at the very least but with that being said and as interesting as this is and good god it's amazingly interesting i always am more interested in what you have to say so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video i'm not say i'm not saying that it's gonna come but if it does i wanna be prepared and i know that you can realize that this can be the best for me and you that was absolutely 100% unnecessary, but, you know, needed to close in something, something on that. I got videos to do. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. 
in this video. Have you done the channel survey? The channel survey is extremely important. It helps you mold and push the direction of this channel to your liking. And trust me, I do pay attention to it because uh, that's just what I do. And I, what I really need to know is, are you Gregging? Or are you repping? Are you repping and Gregging? <laughs> God. Because um, I, I know that you're a part of the Greg for me, Allison's. And if not that, then you're definitely part of the Repification Squad, the Notification Squad, the Rep Zillions, whatever you feel comfortable with identifying. And if you don't know how, all you got to do is go back to the subscribe button, hit that bell, and then be in the comments after every single video and talk to us because we're all there. We're, we're gathering to talk about cool stuff like this. And remember, this channel loves you.